What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ali Guillen. If you've never been here before, bienvenidas. Today we are doing a hair tutorial. I'm going to show you three different ways that you can do your ponytail. This is all about that last hair day. Your hair is dirty. You want to go out, but you're not about washing your hair. I'm going to give you three different new ways to kind of jazz up your ponytail this summer. So I hope you guys enjoyed all my hair tutorials thus far and I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up right now. It really helps out the channel. So with that being said, let's get started. First thing you're gonna wanna do is put your hair up in a ponytail and separate it into two equal parts. Now, once she's up into two equal parts, you're gonna go ahead and take whatever styling cream gel mousse in this case I'm using Olaplex number six bond smoother and just make sure that you kind of smooth out any little frizzies layers any little small hairs and just make sure it's all one solid piece first thing I did was I took that right piece we separated and I started twisting it to the right now I'm gonna take that left piece we separated and I'm gonna start twisting it to the right as well and I'm twisting it a little tightly, but not too tight. And I think it's really important here to mention that your twists are in the same direction. So in this case, I'm twisting both sides to the right. Then you're going to want to take that right piece and you're going to overlap it to the left. Then we're going to twist a little bit more, twist to the right. And then on that second piece again, twist to the right. And you're going to take that piece right there and you're going to overlap it to the left. Once more, we're going to do a little twist to the right. And then another little twist to the right. And you're going to take that right piece and overlap it to the left. And you can really see the rope braid effect come together now. Again, a little twist to the right, a little twist to the right, and then overlap it to the left. And you're just gonna wanna do this process the whole way down. I'm gonna have a little time lapse to kind of speed up the process, and then secure it with a little elastic at the end, and you're good to go. Next up is our jasmine bubble braid, and I'm using my secret two finger rule. I apply two fingers to where my ponytail is starting, and then I grab a little elastic, and I almost secure that little ponytail or little bubble. And I always do two wraparounds just to make sure it's nice and secure, and in my opinion, it just gives a better bubble look. Then I use my pointer finger and my thumb on both hands and I pull. So I start to pull from the left to the right and then I start to pull from the top and then the bottom. That way the bubbles kind of equal on all four sides. Again, two finger rule. I put two fingers where the last elastic is and then I secure it with another one. Once that elastic is good to go, I take my pointer finger and my thumb and I pull on the left side and the right side and then again on the top and the bottom. Now it does not have to be perfect at all. I think that's what makes this whole look. Again, two fingers and I apply the elastic on the bottom of my last finger. Pinching it and pulling it on the left and the right side and then the top and the bottom. Using two fingers again, I go ahead and create the benchmark and then I put the elastic on the bottom of my second finger. And then using my pointer finger and my thumb, I'm gonna go ahead and separate all four sides. 
It does not have to be perfect at all. I think that it looks beautiful with the imperfections. It almost looks a little bit more effortless in my opinion. And that's the look that I'm going for. I always tend to leave about two or three inches at the bottom, but that's the finished look. Here's a fun one. First thing you're going to want to do is separate your hair into two equal parts. We're going to start with part one first and we're going to do a classic braid. So separate that hair into three parts and braid it all the way down. Secure it with a little elastic at the end, and then you're going to want to braid the second part as well. Now we have two braids. Beautiful, aren't they? But we're not done yet. You're going to take both braids, and you're going to take your right piece and overlap it to the left. Again, take that right piece and overlap it to the left. Take that right place and overlap it to the left. And we're just going to continue this till we get all the way to the end. This is a practice we should be used to already because of our rope braid. Now what we're going to do is once it's twisted all the way to the end, we're going to secure it with another elastic. And you're going to secure a little bit above where the other two elastics are. Once it's secured, you're going to pull those two little mini elastics that separated the two braids and you're going to pull them out of the hair. So now we should only be left with one elastic holding both braids. And voila, you're done. I feel like this gives it a little bit more of a sophisticated braid resort look and I'm all about it. I hope you all enjoy these three looks and don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one.